Thank you for clicking on the video for our day three on the Freedom of the Seas cruise. On this day, we stopped over and did Nassau, and this is our fourth time coming to the area, so we opted to spend more time on the ship. If you'd like to check out more of the island, please check out our Carnival Conquest vlog, where we walked around to some of the most popular attractions in a very long self-guided tour. Later on, I left Holly on the ship for a little while and went to Senior Frogs with her family, and then we came back and enjoyed some great shows before the end of the night. I hope you enjoy the video. One of the best parts of port days and staying on the ship is you pretty much have a private resort to yourself. Most people will get off the ship, and depending on the port you are at, most of the amenities will still be functional. A lot of the cruise tour video, which was posted before all of these vlogs were shot actually on this day because of how empty the ship was. We stopped by Playmakers and enjoyed some games for a little while, which was fantastic. No waiting, and we could play whatever we wanted, whenever we wanted. Next, we grabbed lunch at El Loco Fresh. There was typically a line wrapping around the deck to eat here, and instead, we just walked up, grabbed our food, and enjoyed a great view from the ship. After lunch, I got off the ship and started walking to Senior Frogs. We were at the very end of the docks and it was a very long walk to get into the town. They do have golf carts available to transport folks that have mobility issues. I had promised Holly's brother that I would meet them at Senior Frogs for a quick drink because the second time Holly and I had ever been to Nassau was for our honeymoon and we had quite the memorable experience at this bar. This was the first weekend in January, so there were some Christmas decorations still up. Back on the ship, Holly and I knocked out some daily trivia puzzles and waited for the rest of the group to get back on board. As we departed the port, some storms were rolling into the area and it created a beautiful scene for the sunset. For the final night of the cruise, we ate at the main dining room. We were on the second floor of the three-story area, and it was a very enjoyable meal. 
food service was fairly quick, but it was pretty dark in the room, so I apologize for how some of the footage looks. We have gotten a new lens that will be better for low light in the future, so hopefully the next time we're in a dark environment like this, it'll look much better. Holly still will not stop talking about how good the tiramisu was for dessert. After dinner, we went to a comedy show, which wasn't a typical stand-up comedy show, but more of stunt and physical comedy, and even had some audience participation. Following the comedy show, we stopped by the ice stage to watch our first ice show in the open seas. Needless to say, we were surprised by the amazing quality of the show and the ice skaters. The theme of the show was about peace and unity, though there was a goofy bit in the middle with pirates, which included some audience participation as well. All right, so we definitely missed doing one of these videos or two. It's been a long last 24 hours. <laughs> we uh, last said we were heading out to grab a couple of drinks with mm -hmm. Holly's family. Mm -hmm. So we ended up trying to go and see an adult 18 plus show called The, Tw the Quest. <laughs> And it was a load of fun. It Phenomenal. <laughs> definitely was <laughs> engaging, lots of stuff going on. It is 18 plus. <laughs> Do not go in if you're easily offended. It, it's a load of fun though. And I mean all ages. Uh, a man threw his dentures <laughs> onto the main platform where they're mm -hmm. playing the game. Um, so yeah, all ages, <laughs> and it was a blast. Uh, if you are on a royal ship and you have the opportunity, you have to go to that. Um, were there any bars you enjoyed going to? Um, I really liked the R bar. Um, not really a specific kind of like cocktail there. They can make just about anything. But are they, you sure there wasn't a specific? But they make an amazing espresso martini. Yes. Um, and our server was phenomenal. She was great. 
they're yeah we actually uh we like to bring rubber ducks and hide them along mm -hmm. with us and we ended up giving her one of them just because it was such a good fun time mm -hmm. sharing with that with her so uh if you're not familiar with them you can just google cruising ducks there's different facebook pages and a bunch of stuff with it people like to hide rubber ducks on cruise ships um, we like to try and find them. Mm -hmm. We haven't found a single one on this cruise ship, but it is a sold out cruise. So there's a massive chance people are finding them before we have a chance to get them. Mm -hmm. um, I know some of the ones we had didn't last more than 30 minutes yesterday. So it happens and we're hopefully able to enjoy them. Today, Nassau. This mm -hmm. is our fourth or fifth time in the yeah. area. Eh, it's fine. If you haven't been, there's a lot of cool stuff you can see. Um, a lot of cool excursions. Not our ball of wax. So we ended up hanging out on the boat first thing this morning. Um, Which was great because everybody got off the boat to do excursions. So you kind of had the place to yourself. If you guys watch our tour video of the cruise ship, some of the footage is going to come from today because it was so empty. Mm -hmm. Um, I try not to get a lot of just random people in the shots. You can't always do it because other people are here, but uh, it was nice. We were a little disappointed though. We were supposed to have a soup, uh, <laughs> soup, <laughs> a sip tour and brunch where you kind of do a behind the scenes tour, a nice brunch, and then they uh, have bottomless mimosas for you too. Uh, we love seeing that kind of behind the scenes thing. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, got canceled. Um, it is what it is. Um, but it happens. yeah, I don't know what the reason was for it, but we still had a good time. Mm -hmm. And if we're on another royal, we're gonna give it another shot because um, it's always fun to see something unique. Um, we caught a few different shows tonight, mm -hmm. um, and. Every single one of them was great. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, it was kind of different than I was expecting. We, we went to a comedy show first, and it was kind of advertised as comedy, mm -hmm. but the guy did a lot of physical humor and stunts and stuff, and that was really cool. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, we went to an ice show afterwards music was phenomenal the skaters were very talented so good yeah no um like you could nitpick over the occasional toe pick issue but i'd like to see anybody out there do half as well <laughs> as what these people did that was yes. it was awesome um there was a one part where one of the little boys in the audience actually yeah. got, got pulled out and put into a little ice skating pirate ship and mm -hmm. it was a blast it, it was really cool i've yeah. always heard that royal does amazing shows and i would definitely say yes they yeah. did fantastic we've been on carnival norwegian and now royal and it, it, their shows definitely are up there mm -hmm. so um i think that's just about it it was only a three night cruise um we're tired this video is going way longer than i anticipated <laughs> Um, but that's what happens when we skip doing these throughout the trip. Yep. We hope you guys enjoyed the videos. Uh, this again was Holly's birthday cruise. Mm -hmm. Um, and we'll have another cruise later on in September. Um, thank you guys for watching and we hope you, uh, like the videos. Thank you. We had an easy time getting off of the ship and realized that we didn't actually have passage back to the airport, but luckily we were able to get people offering shuttle buses to MIA for only $10 per person, which isn't bad at all. We really hope you enjoyed the videos we put together for this cruise. We are playing with a new camera and I'm editing on a new software and I'm still kind of working on mastering it. Our next video series is from a work trip that I took where we extended it on the back end to enjoy going to Disneyland for our first time as well as enjoying some places around Orange County, California. We hope you check those out even though it's slightly different from our regular cruise vlogs.
Our next cruise is set for this coming September on the Adventures of the Seas. We'll be going to Honduras, Belize, and Mexico, and we cannot wait to share this next trip with you.